Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Steffi spills Luna disaster RJ blames himself. The bold and the beautiful shows RJ Forrester, who hated himself for allowing Luna Nozawa access to his family. Steffi Forrester reassured his brother that was not his fault. RJ kept berating himself for not spotting the Luna warning signals, as there was a celebration of Steffi's safe homecoming at the Forrester Mansion. Among other visitors were John Finn Finnegan Hope Logan, Brooke Logan, Taylor Hayes, Rich Forrester, Carter Walton Eric Forrester, John McCook, Donna Logan Forrester, and Zen Forrester Dominguez. After receiving an invitation as well, Deacon Sharp finally showed up and considered what Luna had done to Tom Starr and Paul Hollis. Deacon said how happy he was that Steffi was fine after admitting all the horrifying Luna news. Steffi reviewed how the kidnapping transpired and considered her time imprisoned in the cage. Taylor noted that Luna clearly was a highly disturbed young woman in need of psychological therapy. Talk went to what Luna told Steffi, who updated Zend on Luna putting him up at the guest house. Brooke was embarrassed for some of the things she spoke to Zend at the time since Steffi insisted Zend never took advantage of Luna. After Brooke did the same, RJ was also contrite and hugged Zend. Finn received lots of compliments for becoming Steffi's hero, but Taylor pointed out Hope observing the content pair and scorned her. Since it was a love unbreakable, Brooke gently encouraged Hope to realize the link between Steffi and Finn. Poppy Nozawa apologized for what she had put Bill Spencer through at the Spencer estate on Tuesday's BNB episode, but he said she couldn't blame herself for Luna's conduct. Poppy argued perhaps she should have been a different sort of mother since she still thought she should have realized anything was wrong. Bill continued telling Poppy she wasn't accountable, and she didn't fail Luna as a mother. Once Bill remembered Luna kissing him, he reassured Poppy he warned her it couldn't happen once more. Luna kissed Bill a second time, but Poppy was simply happy Steffi was all fine after seeing it and getting hauled into all the turmoil. She loved Bill even more when he reaffirmed that Poppy was not to fault. Poppy thought about the changes in her relationship with Lee Finnegan, Naomi Matsuda, and realized she needed time with her family right now. Poppy and Bill did not produce a child all those years ago, but it was a moment she would treasure always. Poppy stated she would always have Bill to her heart and hug him since she was appreciative of his compassion and charity. We will pass along additional predictions about their future as the bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate Will Spencer, Crew Morrow, will try his utmost to push Bill and Katie Logan, Heather Tom, back into love terrain shortly. Hope alarm bells for Steffi, Finn's unexpected visitor. Spoilers for Wednesday, September 11th, for the bold and the beautiful BNB show John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, returning to his hospital patients now that he knows Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, is okay. Finn will get an unannounced visit once he is back in his office that can cause some conflict. Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton, will stop by with some stuff to get off his mind. Finn might believe Liam is there to dig about his dysfunctional family and how the kiss with Hope Logan Annika Noel plunged Steffi into misery. Liam may certainly say some backhanded remarks, but he might also praise Finn for saving Steffi. Not to mention she is his child's mother. Steffi is someone Liam still loves a great lot. Liam will therefore probably be appreciative of Finn, even if he still has many problems with Steffi's husband. After seeing Hope at the latest Forrester party, Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig, will have a severe warning for Steffi. Taylor will urge Steffi to keep on alert since she clearly worries about Hope aggravating more issues in Steffi and Finn's marriage. Taylor will try to persuade Steffi to treat this threat seriously and set off some Hope warning bells. Steffi will probably say she trusts Finn, but Taylor will claim Hope cannot be trusted at all as she resembles Brooke Logan, K. Catherine Kelly Lang. Will Spencer, Crew Morrow? will sit down for a conversation with both his parents as Taylor pushes Steffi to watch her back. Will wants to see a reunion between Bill Spencer, Don Diamant, happen following all the Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, hence he has already been questioning Katie Logan, Heather Tom, about this prospect. Will would most definitely be pleased if something worthwhile emerged from this mess. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal Will's certainly going to be playing Cupid in Wednesday's BMB episode, despite Din denying playing matchmaker when Katie asked him. We'll likely bring Katie and Bill some nostalgic recollections, hence we will keep you informed about any upcoming romantic news. 
Deacon joins the Forester gathering Steffi comforts Zend. RJ blames himself. The September 10th bold and the beautiful spoilers and recaps for showy guest at the Forester event, reassurance and blame-taking reveal. The bold and the beautiful recap highlights. Deacon Sharp Sean Cannon attended the Forester event. Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, convinced Zen Forrester Dominguez Delon de Metz. He was not at fault. RJ Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, blamed himself. Spoilers for the bold and the beautiful. RJ Forrester blames himself. Believing he had some influence on the circumstances, RJ tells Steffi the great remorse he feels about it. Steffi tells him he isn't to blame. She then asks about the children and Hope Logan, Annika Noel, notes they are contentedly playing. Steffi looks great despite all she has gone through, thanks in part to Donna Logan, Jennifer Garys, and Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang. Must read. Zend and Poppy heat up the screen Are they the new power couple? BNB spoilers. The discussion then turns to Luna Nozawa's, Lisa Yamada, horrible acts involving the two dead men and their effects on Steffi's mother. RJ muses over the challenges Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, must face in coming to terms with the reality about Luna. Steffi Forrester just wants to move on BNB spoilers. Driven to go on, Steffi says she wants to go back to work and intends to be in the office the next day. Though Steffi tells RJ that no one could have expected this result, RJ is still struggling with guilt since he believes he is accountable for all that has happened. Deacon walks in just then and Eric Forrester, John McCook, says Steffi asked for his presence, therefore honoring Deacon's recent death of two close friends. Steffi tells her horrific story of seeing Luna kiss Bill Spencer, Don Diamant which drove her to confront Luna at the flat, only to discover she is drugged. They gather around. Steffi urged Luna to tell the truth. Brooke is sure it was horrible. She felt like a wild beast imprisoned in that cage. Deacon was there for Paul Hollis and Tom Starr when they most needed him, the bold and the beautiful spoilers. Deacon says Tom Starr, Clint Howard, and Paul Hollis, Hollister, Hollis W. Chambers, were doomed from the beginning. To him, Tom was a real hero. Read more Bradley Bell Talks Killing Off More Characters from the Bold and the Beautiful BNB Head Writer's Fatal Promise. Brooke tells him he was there for support and Hope emphasizes, despite their strong relationship with Luna, none of them could have expected this. Another moment finds Zen giving Brooke a kind hug, then one with RJ. Sensing John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, would not want to hear from her. Hope approaches him but she feels driven to tell him he is a real hero for saving Steffi. While all of them congratulate Finn for saving Steffi, Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig, watches the incident and addresses the need of keeping your children safe. BMB spoilers. Steffi Forster affirms Finn Finnegan's love, Hope Loga looks away, Bill Spencer and Poppy Nawaza talk. Steffi tells Finn her unflinching faith in his love, thinking it will conquer any obstacle. Hope looks away as they kiss. Her mother whispers that kind of love is not breakable. Bill checks up on Poppy and finishes a business call at his house the meantime. She thanks him for being liberated from jail while crying. He expresses his sadness over her suffering. Must read Bradley Bell Talks killing off more characters from The Bold and the beautiful BNB head writer's fatal promise. Poppy apologies for the problem she caused him, but Bill tells her she is not to blame. Poppy finds it difficult to accept Luna's behavior, and Bill exhorts her not to take ownership. Poppy Nawaza continues to blame herself. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. She believes she should have felt something was really wrong and stopped it. But Bill argues Luna was adept at hiding her actual self. Poppy had always felt she and Luna had a close relationship. And she wonders what she might have done to cause her daughter to be so terribly lost. Sitting together, they go over all Steffi experience following the kiss. Looking back, Bill understands he should have advised she go but at the time he thought she was only exaggerating. Although Steffi is okay, she finds it difficult to balance the anarchy her daughter has produced. Must read. Brooke Logan is at last being a reasonable person. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. BNB spoilers. Poppy Nawaza still torn. Her own daughter decided to let her suffer in prison. How could she do that? She wants to be secure but another half feels hurt and outraged. Bill claims Luna was quite damaged, but she tried her best Poppy knows that love by itself wasn't sufficient. She keeps blaming herself. He comforts her that she isn't to blame. Poppy has been which makes her love him even more. 
One encouraging result of all this is that she has been more in touch with her sister. She wants to see her more often. Bill thinks that's fantastic. Poppy knows they didn't have a child, but her evening with him will always hold particular memories. She will always keep a particular place in her heart for him since he consoles her when she is crying. She values his kindness and generosity. Bradley Bell talks killing off more characters BNB head writer's fatal promise. Spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful BNB reveal that the program just finished a summer murder mystery, which resulted in two character deaths. Before almost wiping Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, killed Tom Starr, Clint Howard, and Paul Hollis Hollister, Hollis W. Chambers. Of course, most supporters knew Steffi wasn't in any danger of dying off, but it doesn't mean the deaths are done. In a Deadline interview, BNB head writer and executive producer Bradley Bell recently alluded to some additional deadly schemes. Bell first addressed Sheila Sharp's Kimberlyn Brown, early this year temporary death. In a surprise many of us expected, Sheila turned out to be alive since it was sugar, also known as Janet Weber Kimberlyn Brown, who died at the Cliff home. Bell described how occasionally during a cooling-off period, villains could have to fade to the background. Sheila has experienced this more than once, but now she is attempting to concentrate on creating a decent life with Deacon Sharp, Sean Cannon, at her side. Sheila seems to have nine lives, but that is not the case for everyone on the program. Bradley Bell understood that permanently eliminating a character results in a lot of lost history. The CBS soap scribe thought back on killing off Stephanie Forrester, Susan Flannery, back in 2012 when Flannery realized her time on soaps had run out. But occasionally, especially if it's something delicious that will keep the drama running strong, the story itself might drive a deadly departure. It's always scary and it's always difficult to say goodbye, but once more very necessary, Bell remarked. You have to murder them occasionally if you want to remain credible as a writer. And I swear myself annually that I will kill more people. Who else might have a horrific outcome in the next months? Do you have any ideas? Do any of the characters seem destined for a sad end? Given Luna might be in one of the cooling off stages Bradley Bell discussed, the bold and the beautiful spoilers suggest trouble could be building. Could Luna spark still another wave of lethal unrest down the road? We'll bring you updates on all the upheaval ahead since bad news could be building. Disturbed by realization, Luna spikes Steffi's drink. Luna was found kissing Bill, Don Diamant, by Steffi, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, on Friday, August 23rd, Bold and the Beautiful. Again, Luna observed Steffi listening and informed Bill she had to catch up on work even though Bill was urging Luna she couldn't just go on kissing him. Luna hurried to her flat, where Steffi trailed right away for a confrontation. Luna was filling Steffi in on the arrest of her mother for allegedly killing Tom Starr and Hollis. She also informed her about Tom's claims to be her father, and another paternity test revealed Bill was not. Steffi began to piece things together, and came to see Luna delighted in her life with Bill. She called out Luna for her behavior, telling her Lunda will do everything to have Bill all to herself, even if it means killing her father and imprisoning her mother. Handing Steffi a glass of a red drink, Luna was not liking her in her area. She kept staring at Steffi sipping the drink and precisely when Steffi called her out for being the killer, she dropped to the floor with Luna staring over her. As they drew parallels, some fans might remember that Tom passed out in the midst of the restaurant following sips of his blue energy drink. On the bingo cards of the spectators, Luna's guilt for Tom and Hollis' death was absent. She relates her story to Steffi. We start today at the Forrester Mansion where the family has assembled to help Steffi, Jacqueline McInnes Wood. RJ, Joshua Hoffman, apologizes to Steffi for what happened. As the one with Luna, he feels accountable for bringing this on the family. Hope, Annika Noel, claims she was just with the children and they are having fun. Steffi advises she should go check on the children. When Donna, Jennifer Garice, and Brooke, K. Catherine Kelly Lang, ask Steffi how she is doing, she reveals Finn, Tanner Novlin, gave her a clean bill of health. RJ finds it hard to believe she was well after not eating for so long. Steffi notes she didn't want to be drugged once more. The group as a whole muses over Luna arranging Poppy to kill those men. RJ is depressed since he knows Poppy loved Luna so much and it is now done. Poppy, Romy Park, is in the living room staring at photos when Bill, Don Diamant, enters after a call. 
Poppy is apologetic for subjecting him through so much when he asks how she is doing. Bill assures her Luna did it and Poppy did nothing. Poppy is consumed with what Luna did and believes she could have stopped it, even if Bill maintains she had no influence over it. Bill tells her Luna was so excellent at disguising things she could not have seen there was a problem. Poppy argues it's not the same even though he claims he made mistakes with his son since parenting doesn't come with a manual. Poppy really thought she and Luna had a strong friendship and had no idea she was carrying so much bitterness. Steffi is adamant about reporting to work the next day. Finn claims he tried to talk her out of it but she persisted. Brooke says how much Ridge missed her. RJ feels as though he did this since he is devastated not spotting the warning signals in Luna. Rich claims he had no responsibility. Hope arrives courtesy of Deacon, Sean Cannon. Eric, John McCook, says he invited him out of concern for Steffi. Though he misses his buddies, Deacon is happy Steffi is fine. While Poppy knows Steffi went through hell after seeing a kiss she wasn't meant to see, Bill understands Poppy is going through her own pain. Bill acknowledges he believed Luna's inner turmoil was the reason for her behavior. Poppy finds it incomprehensible the years of bitterness and anger Luna has directed toward her. Two men lost their lives and almost Steffi lost her life as well. Poppy says, Thank God Steffi is okay. Steffi tells the story of how she watched Luna kiss Bill and followed her to the apartment. Luna drugged her there and imprisoned her in the cage. Hope wonders if Steffi was a threat to Luna and that's why she locked her away. But Steffi notes she had no idea how much Luna had done at that moment. Delon Demetz, Zend, cannot believe she was leaving Steffi there to be buried under the debris. Deacon is devastated at what happened to Tom following his great deeds for their benefit. Luna is quite disturbed according to Taylor Rebecca Budig, who also needs treatment. Hope is happy Steffi is home with her family even though everyone worked with Luna and had no idea what was going on. Poppy is not sure how she could reconcile what Luna has done. She is furious that her daughter was going to set her up even as her mother thinks she has to defend her. Poppy claims she did the best she could, but Bill says it was insufficient. That what happened in the guest home was all a deception shock Zend and RJ. Brooke listens closely as Steffi reports Luna used both of them. Because of what happened to Luna, Brooke apologizes to Zend for being firm. She gives him a hug. Then RJ gives Zend one. Hope assures Finn that although Luna tried to grab Steffi from him, he was a real hero who defended his family. Taylor is closely observing them. They are not aware of this. Poppy raised Luna. Hence she finds herself blaming herself. Bill insists she has little bearing on it. Poppy claims Bill has been rather amazing even now, when he might have turned her away. She still loves him even more. She claims she needs her family right now and that she has grown closer to Lee, and will be spending more time with her. She informs Bill they did not produce a kid, but they did have a lovely evening she will treasure always. Poppy will always keep him near her heart. She thanks him for everything he done for her. According to Taylor, parents will always be driven to keep their children safe. This time, Finn turned out to be the hero. Taylor and Ridge really appreciate it. Steffi thanks her husband for the love they have as well as for saving her. Hope looks uneasily as Steffi and Finn kiss. Brooke remarks how in love they are and how that love is a love unbreakable. But Hope does not seem so certain.